welcome back to the cabin today we're going to go down the woods with the kids and my dad we're going to build a shelter we're going to use a hobo pot that i made and we're going to have campfire hot dogs so let's jump into it i right, got down the woods and do some cooking made a campfire forgot all our fire lighters so i had to make do with a spark from my bracelet and the gas cooker but it worked Got two sticks and a skewering pole, chain, and my little hobo pot I made. I'm cooking off some hot dogs. Right, we'll let that cook off while I have my cup of tea, and then we'll eat and build a shelter. Ryan, noise. Bring no cutlery or anything with us, so Oliver is trying to make a fork so we can get the sausages out. How's it coming, Oliver? I can't get this bit off. That's alright. And it needs to be so we can poke the sausages. It's only been a few minutes, but sausages are boiling. And Ryan's off getting wood. So we can build our A-frame shelter. We've got the hot dogs off. Everyone's got their hot dogs. This time, actually. So the Dalmatian nicking it. Alright, Oliver? Max? Good? There we go. So eat these and then get shelter built. Right, no time to make a shelter, we're going to make an A-frame shelter. So we're going to be lashing these bits of wood. You alright though? Yeah. <laughs> lashing all these bits of wood together into an A-frame style. And then we'll be covering it. Right, let's get onto it. Right, so we want to lash these two together. I'm not going to use any special type of knot here. What is a lash? Join two things together. Mm. So what I've got to do is go round a few times and we're going to go through the middle. So now we just need to go through the middle. A little bit of jiggery pokery. So we go round the lashings we've already put on there. and tight. Come up through the hole. Tie that down. Right. Go. Let me stand that up. And it should done properly sit like that right can they then we get the one that we're going to put on the top which i think i said we're going to use this one you know yeah see where that mud is and get some of that oh i see what you're doing oh but move sort of back to the that's the first bit. Now we've just got to get some more of these posts. Lash them together, same as these first ones. And then they'll be up, ready for covering. Right, and for our, our paracord, we're using a TRD tactical rope dispenser, which I'll put a link in the description. We got it off Amazon quite cheaply. And so far it's been pretty good. I would have it on my belt, which I can't be bothered at the moment. But it's got a little knife on it. And the dispenser is 50 foot of rope and it can be refilled. Mm. 
like I said before, no special knot needed because we're going to take all of this with us anyway. So I'll just cut it and reuse it. Right. So you want to go around a few times, and the two you're lashing together. Like so. Then you want to go down through the middle and up through the middle. Make sure you pull it all nice and tight. Like so. You might still have to jig, jiggery pokery with the with the logs themselves, just so you can get stuff in. Use that feathers down by the bottom of that tree. But you do it a few times, same as you did with going round. Yeah, Tie it easy. off. Just like so. Down by the bottom of that tree where your face is. should have sealed these power cords down, down after down I cut them, but. Feather. Pick down. it up. Turn it into an A. Bring it over. I'll go this side. And you gotta lift that bit up. Oh! And you gotta lift that bit up. Place it in between those gaps on there. Oh! the stuff on the side and cover it. We've got a frame stuff in. Thumbs up for me. Thumbs up. No doubt you probably saw from the video if it didn't get paused in time. The freestanding A-frame, I didn't build it very well, it fell down. So what we did is we lent one end of it against the tree, which is definitely a better idea and now it's solid so we're going to cover the sides and we'll come back so most of the a-frame is done it's got a bit more camouflaging to do but there we go it's big enough for me to lay down in big enough for me to sit up in as well and I've still got enough room. There's plenty of room for all your gear down the sides. Make sure you put something on the ground to stop the heat transfer. We're going to get on with the rest of covering this up off camera. So, A frame, thumbs up from me. Stay safe.